and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. Hello right, everybody, it's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guide. And today, as you guys saw earlier, we did do the most overrated players in Madden 20 list. So, it's only right to go over the most overpowered players in Madden list. So now we're going to be doing our top 10 most overpowered players. Now, like I said, it is possible for the most overrated players, some of them, to actually make it on to the most overpowered players list. Now, it might sound weird to you, right? But that's not entirely true. They're overpowered. Doesn't mean I can justify their price. But you'll see exactly what it means we get into the video, guys. Giveaway still going on as per usual. All you guys got to do is like the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. And as far as commenting goes, comment down below the number of like you are. And every... Every 80 likes is 10k given away, so good luck. Let's head into the auction box. The other video was pretty long. Definitely want to make it a little bit quicker than the last one, which to do this out. I'm going to have to start nice and early because these typically take a little bit. So coming in number 10 on the list is a 96 overall. Actually, no, it's a 95 overall, which is pretty surprising, right? You wouldn't expect a 95 overall to make it into the top 10 player list, but he did, and it is Sean Taylor Series Redux, or LTD. This card, guys, is one of the most overpowered cards in Madden 20. Powered up and coming to bed, you guys can see mine. 94 speed, 94 so, 89 tackle, 90 play rec, 93 pursuit, 83 man, 93 zone, and 96 hit power. Kemmed up, powered up, and everything. You can get him to about a 99 hit power. You can get him too close to about 90, I think it's 96 zone. You can get his man up to like an 84, 85. You can get his speed close to 96, 97. The card overall can do almost anything. And remember, he can be powered up, so. I mean, if he gets an ultimate legend, it'll be even better. But right now, so the Sean Taylor, like, I could have him on my team the rest of the year and have no problems. But he's only going to be getting better, which definitely adds to kind of what you can use him for. Now, next on the list is another free safety, which might be slightly better than Sean Taylor. Although I like Sean Taylor better is Brian Dawkins. Again, 93 speed, 91 excel, 90 tackle, 95 play rec, 95 pursuit, 82 man, 94 zone, 96 hit power. Powered up, chemed up. Going to be about the same card. The only difference is Brian Dawkins is slightly better at a few things, like zone, hit powers are no i think yeah hit power powered up can be a little better but remember they're going to be so close even now so once sean taylor gets his next card he'll probably blow brian dawkins under the water which is why i'll probably end up sticking with sean taylor but both these cards awesome free safeties highly recommend you pick up either or whichever one you can afford i used the power pass and sean taylor which made it a lot easier for me now next on the list is going to be a cornerback that i probably won't pick up only because i have uh i have other guys powered up but if you guys don't have another cornerback and you're looking for one Look no further than Rod Woodson. Super solid card. Fully powered up and chemed up. This card will get you about to 97 speed with Sprinter. You can get him up to 97, 98 Excel, 99 Agility. And then as far as zone and man, you can easily get him to like a 97 zone and a 99 man, as well as 92 press. He's kind of like, I always like to think of Rod Woodson as a Deion Sanders and Nitrin hybrid. Like, if you took away some Nitrin lanes, power and like physicality, took it down a little bit. And you can come to Deion Sanders, the less of them, take it down a little bit, put them together, get up with the Rob Woodson. He's pretty athletic, not as athletic, athletic as Dion will be, but he's also pretty physical, just not as physical as Nitro Lane will be. But he's a nice mix. I really think he's awesome. He can also kick return. He's just a nice hybrid of a few things. Next on the list for most overpowered, this card is overrated to an extent because of his price, but at the same time, overpowered. Not that he was on, he didn't make the overrated list, but way too expensive right now. Do not recommend you pick him up, but Nitro Lane, 98 overall. Powered up and chemmed up. This card will get you to about a 97 speed, or even 98, which I'm adding. A 96 Excel, 97 Agility, 99 Jumping, 96 or 7 Play Rec, about 96 Man, 99 Zone, and about 98 Press. Gonna be one of the most locked down, physical, run stopping, tall corners in Man 20. Probably gonna be the best corner in Man 20. Gonna be there for quite a while, too. Highly recommend you guys go pick him up. You really can't go wrong with the Nitron Lane. He is a little bit expensive, which is why I've kind of shied away from actually picking him up because it's kind of expensive and I want to wait till it gets a little bit cheaper, but still not a bad option. Next, Calvin Johnson. First off, he's a great price. He's a great overall value, a great price in general for a wide receiver, as well as just a stat you can get on this guy. Calvin Johnson coming in at number six, I believe we're at. Let's see, Calvin fully powered up, gets to 96 speed. Now, remember, if you put the sprinter on him and everything, I have him at a 90, 98 speed, 99 jumping, 95 catching, he gets to about 98 catch and traffic, 97, 98 spec catch, and his deep route running gets close to 99. Short route running, medium route running, depending on your camps, could get up a little bit. But this card overall is just one of the most dominant wide receiver cards I've ever used. Plus, you can put abilities on him. Super, super OP card. Highly recommend you pick him up. Now, this next guy I want to put higher, 
but I have him a little bit lower on the list just because there's some other guys that are super crazy. But this guy is one of the best defensive cards I've ever in my life had in Madden. Troy Polamalu plays out of his mind. Now, okay, I, I'm, I'm powered up right now. Fully powered up on my team, he gets to a 99 overall. With powered up and abilities and everything, he gets to about a 97 speed, 97, 98 excel. Play rex like a 99, per, of course. Pursuit's like a 94. Man's like an 85, 86. Zones, about 98. And his hit power's about a 93, 94. That's super solid. He's super fast. He is, he's pretty much, I, I see him, he's like an Ed Reed, Ed Reed, Pat Tillman mix. Like Ed Reed, Jamal Adams, he has hit power. He's a ball hawk. He's 94 speed. He forces fumbles. He's all, he's all over the field. He makes so many plays. I highly recommend you guys give him a look if you haven't already yet. I know you guys have Pat Tillman, but he's definitely better. Pat Tillman did not get the upgrade I was expecting. He rarely went up and he's a little bit slower now and doesn't have the stats some other guys have. Next is Lamar Jackson, number four. Now, I don't have Lamar Jackson higher for two reasons. First off, he's too expensive. Although that shouldn't really affect his ranking on this list, he's still too expensive. Now, when you really compare, like I said in the video earlier, a lot can go wrong with Lamar Jackson. And I'll explain that. So Lamar Jackson, as long as you're able to run with him and you get that part going, he's gonna be unstoppable because if people have to worry about his run, the pass game is gonna go all day. But the people who are super good at stopping the run and really just don't let you do it and they have a good defensive scheme and you have to really pass into tight windows, you're not gonna be able to. His throw power is not good enough. Even if you get his throw power, if you, okay, if you have him fully powered up and chemmed up and you have all that coin spent, you can probably get us about a 96, which in that case, it's still good. You can't get like Gunslinger. And when people were at a point in the game where people have 99 zone, 99 man, 99 press, they might have 99 speed. You're getting really tight windows now. And what I have noticed with tight windows, such as guys like Mahomes, all day, all day. Like I see, I see a tight window. We're good to go. Like it, it's a good pass to go. We have no problem doing it. Um, as long as I see the hole, it's there. Guys like Lamar, when I had him, I see a window. I throw. By the time it gets to the guy, they close down on it. It, it was, it's just super frustrating. A lot of passes you can't make. And his medium actually is really not great, which is one of my pretty much one of my main my main part of my offense is medium passes and running the ball. So that kind of hurts. But the speed's great. If you can get that running, guys, he's gonna be unstoppable. But there's gonna be a few games where people really just get him. Like, just, just get him held down, and those games are going to feel it. Next moment, number three, is Patrick Mahomes. 99 overall. Self-explanatory, guys. He can make every throw on Madden. Every throw on the field. Super accurate. Never misses a throw. He has dash and dead eye, which means it's perfect 100 accuracy when you're running outside the pocket. As well as he also has escape parts, which means he can run really well in the backfield. Nothing more to be said about Patrick Mahomes. Trust me, guys. I love him. I might actually end up keeping him all year. It really just depends on what else comes out. If a Vic car comes out that gets close to Patrick Mahomes throwing stats while also getting that 97, 98 speed, I'll make the switch. But for now, Mahomes is no problem with him. Super overpowered. And next are the two running backs coming in at one and two. Now, I'm going to go over the two running backs and give you my ranks. So I got Eric Dickerson and Saquon Barkley coming in number one and two now. Let's compare them real quick. So compared to Dickerson, uh, Saquon Dickerson. So Saquon's got 95 speed, 96 excel. 98 agility, 97 carrying, 80 catching, 92 elusiveness, 87 truck, and 98 break tackle. Beauty of Saquon is powered up and chemmed up. He will get up to a 98 or 99 speed, depending on what you have. Close to 90, oh, he will get 99 excel. 99 agility, he'll get 99 carrying, like 82 catching. He'll get close to 90 trucking and 99 break tackle. He can do everything. He doesn't have one weakness in his game. Then Eric Dickerson. Same speed, less excel, so he's not going to be as quick as Saquon. Less agility, less agile than Saquon. But he has amazing carrying, not great catching, decent elusiveness, amazing trucking, amazing break tackle. So, when you look at them, Saquon has not one weakness, not one. Maybe slightly trucking, which I could care less for. Now, Dickerson has a catching weakness, an elusiveness weakness, and I think he's kind of a little lower on the excel and agility. I personally think that Saquon is the better of the two. Now, compared to how you play, sometimes people like the bigger running back. I think Saquon is not one single weakness on that card. Dickerson does, so in that, in that case, I'd probably end up going Barkley over Dickerson just for the purposes of my team, but they're both solid cards and Dickerson does get the freight train 100. So I think I think Dickerson comes out at two. I think Saquon Barkley comes in at number one on the list. Obviously, it always depends on what you prefer, your team, your chems, but I'm thinking I'm thinking Barkley takes one here. So list overall, we got Sean Taylor at 10, Dawkins at nine, Woodson at eight, Night Train at seven, at six, we got Calvin Johnson, Palomalo at five, four is Lamar, Mahomes at number three, and then Dickerson at two, and Saquon at number one. That is the overpowered player list. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you haven't checked out the other video, make sure to check out the most overrated players so you guys can get both of us back to back. Remember to comment down below the number of like you are. Like the video. Every 80 likes is going to be 10K giveaway. And subscribe to the channel. Once you guys do all those things, you are entered to win. Good luck.
Enjoy the rest of your day. I hope you guys enjoyed today's videos. That should be it for today. Not much stuff in Madden right now to take videos on, so I'm not going to force feed you guys any more stuff. But that's about it. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.